Hey guys, and welcome to another bad quest. Today we're doing Larry and the Gnomes. I'm looking for 20 points. Um, if not, just a quick 5. So. We don't really want to do an easy difficulty because, um, well, obviously, we want to get our points quickly and not slowly. And only the hard badge, of course, a hard difficulty setting. This is any difficulty, so. Hello, friends. I'm Whitwick, the finest storyteller in all of Carrion. You're in for a real treat today. Let us begin the adventure of our hero, Larry, and his encounter with the most unlikely of foes, the gnomes of the Wackapork Forest. Levy and the gnomes. Oh, the land of Carrion abounds with magnificent beauty, and in ages past has been a place of safety and peace. In recent times, however, forces of evil have begun to stir within Look the Look at the cloud. The dragon. In places that were once quiet and at ease have been changing. That clouds is bad stuff. Take, for example, the gnomes of the Wackapork Forest. The once quiet and friendly creatures, in a short space of time, became violent, obnoxious, and very, very naughty. And so the tale begins with the Chosen One, Larry Mittenhands, and a summon <laughs> from the King. Okay, I guess we play Larry Mittenhands. Now, Larry, you'd better hurry up to carry on castle. You don't want to keep the King waiting. Are you sure I'm ready for all this? Of course not. You're a Nancy boy. But with my instruction, you might at least live to see tomorrow. Walk down the road and break open that supply crate. Okay, well, once, once you let me, I'll go ahead and do that. These are gems of doom. They are extremely valuable, so grab them wherever you can. This barricade is quite tall. Try sprinting into a jump to get over it. Oh, okay. Swap your weapons with the ones on the ground. The new head is distracted. Throw your weapon at him. Ah, time for some action. Kill these gnomes. Do more damage by combining your attacks with jumps, sprints, or speed jumps of doom. <laughs> So throwing your weapon is pretty shit. King is waiting, Larry. Hurry on forward. Fine, asshole. Uh, y your Majesty, you summoned me. Yes, chosen one. The city may soon be in trouble. You really think so? Yes, I do. Not many people know this, but I've heard report that gnomes might be acting naughty in my city. Don't tell anyone, though. I don't want to cause a panic. Oh, no, no one will uh, notice. I'll keep that in mind. I find it strange. I've always been on good terms with the Gnome King. Your mission is to find the Gnome King and find out what is going on. He's probably evil and I'm probably gonna have to kill him. Oops, shit. That's the wrong button. Ah, god fucking damn it. So let's check some of these weapons down just so we know what we're looking at. So, six. Uh, but, so yeah, I think I was right. 
Oh no, never mind the mountain for more damage. Okay, that thing has more rage. We want to collect all 50 passive gems. Um, well, I want to at least have a bit more enemies. Yeah. So I'm out in my damage, but this is a sword, so I'm guessing it's better. It has, a, it has some kind of small card thing. How did it say I activate my... My rage? Sorry, I'm really bad. Instructions... W. I apologize for that, guys. There you go. Complete that achievement, we only need to complete this one. Oh, it's only level 8, I thought it was something to do with collecting little gem things. So I'll just keep it. Seems pretty simplistic. Health. Temporary unlimited. Just keep swinging, stabbing, maiming, burning, killing. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that one does a lot more damage. Doesn't have any critical hit, but it does more damage. So. How about this one? Eight, only eight. So we'll stick with this. Same amount of damage in but it looks cool or so. Ooh. Look, I can bash him. Ooh. So jumping doesn't help. Ouch. Oh, I'm enraged now. You're gonna die because I'm angry. So we're not worried about those booby things anymore. We can just kind of go ahead on our merry way. Hey, live well, limits link ammo, so I'm gonna save that. Out of my way, child! I'm looking for the chosen one. I'm not a child, I'm 19. And, and I'm, I'm the, chosen. the chosen one. Very funny. Now get lost. No, I'm looking for your king. Now tell me, where well, you're serious? <laughs> you're the chosen one. You're the one we've been sent here to kill. <laughs> sent here to kill? <laughs> yes, uh, our king has commanded us to find and kill the chosen one. Uh, mind you, 
Had he seen you himself, he'd have sent a lot less of us here. <laughs> then shut up! Let's get this over with so I can be home in time for supper. Time to show who's boss. Are you enjoying Pookie Boy? Are you enjoying Pookie Boy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he slowed me down. Feel the power of my activate my fairy. Ah. I'm still furious. I'll rule the destroyer shadow forces like dirt under my fingernails. Screw you. There's another one defeated. Yeah, those guys are mean. No, I didn't want to do that. Oh, we 
just barely made it, guys. Really got caught up on those thingies. Thirteen plus fifteen. I don't know how fast this swings be fast. Okay, we're well, gonna use this one then. We're maxed on ammo. Oh shit, that's my bad. Check because I guarantee these maps will still be better. There we go. Luckily, we knew there was a post on poke here, there. Kill all the gnomes, I guess. Head home, child. This place is not for you. I'm here to find the gnome king. You are this chosen one. The man of the flames did not speak of you as such a little boy. The man of the flames? Yes, the man who speaks to our king through the magical fire. Your king takes orders? Only the magical fire man. For he is mighty as the gods. Look, I don't have time for this. I need to speak to your king. My king? You have no hope, little boy. You would never leave the fall into the underground. You would not last a second in our great gnome city. And our king would crush you as powder. You will never be able to try any of these things. Because you will never get past me. Okay, gotta get past him now, I guess. Let's get this party started. Oh, there's a pump bar. You are just little boy. Oh, which is the soul bar? I think we have to pull these spears out of My bad. Ah, 
Yeah, not only do you have my actual sword, I can actually do a little bit, I can do a lot better. Ah, that's not fair, I totally have it. So I think he goes twice at a time, and then he throws a spear in the third. No, he doesn't. I don't know when he throws a spear then. Arrgh. What the fuck? He won't fucking throw a spear. I can't fucking walk around though. You could probably attack him quite a bit longer than I have been. So impossible to see what actual plane he's gonna be attacking on. See, it's like, how do I tell what fucking plane he's on? Um, so that'll be enough for this episode. We will be back in the next episode. As I know, we may as well keep going. It's gonna cut it off, but I think we're almost done once we beat this asshole. So I'll leave it. It's gonna be a little bit longer episode here. Makes it easier for you guys too, then you don't have to switch episodes and all that. Okay, I think quite what I was going to do was just attack him a little bit longer, but. Oh, no. Fuck. Anyway, yeah, that's a sweet story. I can smell these gnomes a mile away. Okay. <laughs> See, that's yeah, a, I, I just got on the fucking map. I was curious, like, does he hit you every time, the first time, no matter what? There we go.
Okay, now we're going to okay. There we go. Let's do that. Okay, there we go. And again, can't fucking get around to my sword. This is bullshit. I guess it's kind of my fault, but it's kind of bullshit that you can't win. <laughs> That's what I thought would happen if I used those javelins. Are you ready to die, little boy? Time to show him who's boss. Ridiculous. Okay, well I at least know this roll thing now. The fucking dual key is right beside the attack key, so that's that's why I do these that is stupid like throw a weapon key. Because I have to pass a different weapon to pick up pretty much everything is a different key. Which makes sense, but all the keys are bunched together in a combination that doesn't make really any sense. So some so you have to pick up the weapon, then you have to attack with the or you have to pick up the weapon, then you have to pass the throw weapon key, then you have to pick up your weapon again, and you have to attack with the weapon. So sometimes I throw my sword because that's what I just did, because I had to throw, pick up the throw and throw it. Of my so it's fucking pain in the ass. All right. So yeah, it's a little bit nonsensical, but I couldn't imagine on any other difficulty either. It'd just be fucking grindy. Like what? Makes no sense when he actually throws the thing either. Throw the fucking javelin! I 
I don't know if he'll pull a javelin if you're doing this for one thing. That's the only way to fucking make sure you don't get hit. Okay, well I'm gonna go back to the way I was doing it before, which is the, like random ass dodging. Because then he actually th these once in a while blue spears at me. So yeah, not the easiest on <laughs> 15 points I've ever made in my bad quest career. But I guess if you watch this video, I guess you kind of see the strategies and how it works a little bit better than either currently. And you may get lucky and have this guy actually throw stuff at you, unlike me. Where the guy just never throws stuff. I think he just threw something. So these guys have to get quite close. I need to actually be able to get there and do some damage. Kill him with <laughs> Let's kill him with my fucking hands. That should be our fifteen point badge. We do not have to play Act Two. We have no reason to, and we've already sung. 35 minutes in. So, thank you for watching this episode of Batch Quest, and we will be back um, later for another episode. Thanks, guys.